Our trip today is from Roslyn Bay to Gladstone. We leave the marina early to get the tide right for transiting the cattle crossing in the Narrows. We left Keppel Bay Marina about half an hour ago. What a beautiful day, everything's right. The wind's right, we've got the sail out, we've shut down one engine, we've steamed along nearly six knots. Even the dog's happy. You can't be conditions like this. Fantastic. We like travelling through the Narrows. There is plenty to see and it is always calm. Timing high tide at the cattle crossing is of vital importance. You require a tide of two metres plus your draft to get through. Well, we've just come inside uh, the Narrows and we're heading towards Gladstone. That's Mount Larkin you can see up behind me. Uh, which is behind Gladstone. We've got about 21 miles of mud and mangroves. But if you work it right, you can get a good lift off the tides as well. The deep water is well marked with beacons and leads. The cattle crossing is aptly named. At low tide, Cattle can be walked across the dry banks between the mainland and Curtis Island. Graham Creek on Curtis Island is our overnight anchorage but break out the aeroguard as the midges are thick. Next morning we cruise past the liquefied natural gas plant being constructed on Curtis Island. It is a huge project with thousands of workers and commercial ships from ferries to tugs and dredging equipment being employed. With 2,000 vessel movements a day, vigilant navigation is required in this area. There is a good marina at Gladstone and fuel is available also, but we decide to cruise on to Pancake Creek. <laughs> 